Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 10th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a interesting response to the market, to the um, Israeli um, attack. We gapped a little bit lower, but pretty much immediately we just decided to shrug it off and continue this relief rally to the upside. This morning we have a little bit more bullishness going on as Europe is really surging higher this morning, almost as if they totally want to ignore what's going on in the Middle East. That may be okay for a short period of time to continue this re relief rally. We also have oil just a tiny little bit lower after surging higher, strongly higher yesterday. And we have bonds that are pulling back and we'll talk just a little bit about that in a few minutes, how they're pulling back just a little bit, maybe easing some of those rate pressures. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Now as you guys know I try to look at these charts without a bias as to which way I think the market should go and just look at the pressure points here in the chart. So as you can see um, two big days of rally here as the relief rally um, in the market comes back into play. Um, unfortunately, we still have an awful lot of resistance levels above. So taking a look right now, if the bulls can stay inspired this morning, notice right in here we have a pretty strong resistance level that we'll want to be paying attention to. And if we can pop through that, if we can get up through that level, then we may well be up here trying to stretch up and attack this big level of price resistance in the chart. Well, we'll have to wait and see on that if we've got enough energy to push on through. But there certainly is that possibility if those bulls can really get inspired today. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, then let's take a look what we've got going on in here. Maybe a pushback. You might catch a little bit of price support right in there about halfway down yesterday's candle if that were to fail however I think we're probably coming back in here to test that level now keeping in mind there's nothing wrong with that if we break um, a downtrend like this this was a very sharp downtrend rally hold a higher low whether it be a pullback or a consolidation that is a bullish sign. If we can hold those levels, then we can look for that um, bounce back to the upside to occur. We'll wanna watch that carefully. If we do, however, <coughs> fail and break this back down, well, that's gonna be a problem for us. We could end up double bottoming in here or even making new lows. Now, if we take a look at our technicals here in the chart, you wanna make note that yesterday we came up here, we challenged that 500 day moving average in the diamonds but you'll see as we're rallying up here, today we have that opportunity that we could come up here and challenge the underneath side of that 200 day moving average. Notice our shorter term moving averages are coming down. That's gonna provide an area of resistance in here that could reject us for a short period of time, pushing us back down. It kind of all depends on how the data comes out the rest of the week, whether we're going to be able to push through those areas or not. So remember, we have that uh, technical resistance in, in the diamonds chart. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY had a good day. Big tech continues. The tech giants continue to have good buying response from the public, despite their PE ratios being extremely high. Boy, there just is a, um, a non-stop um, willingness to buy these very high-priced stocks. But that being said, as we continue to push up here, we've made some really nice gains um, in the market. And if the bulls can continue to stay inspired, notice we have a little bit of price resistance right up here in this area where we're pushing in the pre-market on this gap up. And if we can break through there, 
we may well be right up into here testing this bigger area of price resistance and then we'll start looking beyond that point in the chart for um, those next levels which uh, well there's quite a few of them as you can see there's a fairly substantial level right through here and of course we have that downtrend that we'll want to be paying attention to in the chart now let's take a look <clears throat> at our technicals here in our SPY nice bounce in the 500 to 200 day uh, moving average area and we never did quite make it all the way down to test that 200 day but as we move back up notice we're going to going to approach a little technical resistance and price resistance right around that 34 EMA we've got a little gap right here that could create a little bit of resistance area in the chart so watch that closely as we continue to rally back if we can push on through there, I think it's going to take some pretty good economic data to do that, which may be possible here later this week. If we take a look at QQQ, the strongest of the indexes and really dominated by just seven tech companies and you can see really pushing up here on the day now there may be a little bit of distraction in the tech sector here today because we've got Amazon doing their second prime day trying to uh, just pull as much money out of the out of the consumer as they can before the holidays because consumers are becoming a little bit weary and strained here in the market so they're running some deep discounts trying to get people to buy we'll want to watch that closely today to see how um, that <clears throat> um, um, shows us the strength of the consumer if they're still willing to run those credit card um, levels up watch this <coughs> excuse me watch this carefully as we approach this resistance level in the chart on the QQQ if the bulls continue to push and if they can push through here then we're right, probably right back up here testing this downtrend in major resistance area in the chart if the bears however were to find some um, reason to push back maybe a little tiny support right there in the chart and then if that were to fail we're probably coming back down here to this stronger level of price support in the QQQ we also want to be cognizant of the fact that we are pushing right into the 50-day moving average where of course we can find significant price resistance on the technical side and it's not an uncommon thing to see that area resist the stock from moving up and um, as we approach that downtrend we could even pop through that a bit and still see that um, downtrend continue to push here in uh, the QQQ. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM is the weakest of the indexes and although it bounced back nicely here the last couple of days we still have a lot of work to do here on the small caps. You can see pushing into some quite the congestion area here in the chart and then also that downtrend trying to see if we can push up through there you can see a little bit of a pop this morning we're given a shot at it to see if we can push on through now if we can then we're up in this little higher congestion area maybe um, a push up through here you can see a little bit of price resistance right through here with these bottoms and tops right in here so a little bit of price resistance right in there if we can push up into there and if we can get past that then we're pushing up toward the major resistance area in that downtrend in the chart if the bears were to find inspiration today pushing down well i wouldn't suggest that we come all the way back we might catch some of these support levels right through here and hold if the bears do come in and push back down if that were to fail however i think we do come back down and test these lows let's take a look at our vix now our vix yesterday pulled back nicely but it wasn't all that confident and the reason i say that is if i draw an upside trend in here we're still holding that upside trend. It is nice that we dropped back down below that 18 handle. We had a little bit of, of relief here in the market, but it, that may be all it is, is just a little bit of relief because we have so much uncertainty in the days ahead with the data coming out. We'll wanna watch that pretty closely. <clears throat> so if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, 
then we want to see this trend right here break. We want to see that break on down, maybe coming down into this next level of price support of the chart. So watch carefully for that if the bulls can, can remain inspired to push to the upside. However, if the bears find reason to push to the upside and we bounce off of this area, we could really see a little bit of fear come in if the selling kind of takes over here in the market. Um, everyone I know wants to see more relief and that buy side coming in, but there is still that question to be watching carefully for. If we take a look at our T2122, now our T2122 does give us plenty of upside hope here. We stretched up here over 50% in T2122. Now, you have to look at how much we really gained overall um, and, and kind of subtract out where the big tech giants did the majority of the lifting. Didn't we really get enough done in here to inspire buyers to really start coming in hard? That'll be the question, but if they do, we've got plenty of upside opportunity if those bulls find that inspiration. No, you want to note that there is a little downtrend right in here. We could pop up into there and find that little downtrend, but that's not um, anything I'd be too particularly worried about just yet. If the bears find inspiration, here's the problem that we've got. We've got about an equal opportunity for a pullback now in the chart. So it's really going to be data dependent whether or not we're going to push higher or push on lower. Relief rally would suggest we continue to relieve a little bit of that selling pressure, but we didn't have a whole lot of um, momentum in that yesterday. And let me show you that here in just a second. Our T2108, <clears throat> T2108 had a nice little relief to the upside and the good news is we did break above that resistance there in the chart pushing back up so we relieved nicely here about 25 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average unfortunately as you can see it really wasn't super super impressive in the move we've got downtrend here still that we're trying to breach them and break through lots of resistance in the chart as we rally back up so kind of keep that in mind it was nice but it wasn't super and we'll want to keep that in mind if the bears find any reason to reattack. Um, our T2107, well, it, nice improvement, but honestly, was largely unimpressed. As you can see, as we pushed up here on our small caps, 36% <clears throat> of those holding above their 200 day moving average and as you can see we still got a downtrend in here with considerable levels of price resistance above so we've rallied back an awful lot on our t2122 and we're really not seeing anything all that impressive here in the t2108 or t2107 and i think the reason for that is is the t2101 the absolute market breadth as we rallied yesterday we continue to see the breadth declining. So unfortunately, we're not seeing that major uh, energy boost into the market. Now, why is that? Why is that the case? Why are we still so lethargic here in the market? And my guess is because of the economic uncertainties that we have coming the rest of this week. So first off today, looking at our calendar, it's just, it's dead on arrival, really. Um, we've got um, an NFIB small business optimism that is usually never a market uh, mover. Wholesale inventories that, of course, will be interesting. But um, as you can see, really, we have a day that's nothing more than Fed speakers and bond auctions to find inspiration. Now, if we continue to see uh, bond yields come back that could be good for us if those yields start to soften up that could be really good for us but barring that there's not much here to find inspiration and you have to understand that we will very quickly here today after we get through all of the morning pop popping around and hype we're likely going to be focused in on these things tomorrow morning the mortgage applications that have been in pretty sharp decline the PPI final demand tomorrow. That'll be very interesting. That's a measure of inflation. So watch that closely. And then um, we've got the FOMC minutes that 
can always be, um, you know, the hurry up and wait kind of report with a lot of volatility as soon as the numbers come out. We know the Fed remains hawkish. That remains a problem for us. So um, keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here today. And our earnings calendar, the good news is we do have a little bit on the earnings calendar to move us around. First, we're gonna hear from AZZ today. You'll wanna keep an eye on that. AZZ will be reporting. We'll be hearing from NEOG today. Obviously, that was disappointing here uh, this morning, at least so far on its earnings results. Uh, breaking down, continuing in its downtrend, and breaking some significant support levels here in the chart, at least in the pre-market. And then on the other side of the uh, aisle, we had PepsiCo uh, beating estimates and a nice pop happening here in PepsiCo. Now these defensive sector stocks have just been pounded down. So if we can find um, a little higher low in here, break these downtrends, hold a little higher low, I'm going to be interested in some of these defensive sector because, you know, even if the market is rough, uh, we're probably going to still drink Pepsi and Diet Coke and things like that. So watch carefully. There may be some opportunities forming up here in the defensive sector. Good dividend payers as well, if you don't uh, mind the longer term hold. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I want to say thank you to everyone who supports the channel. You know, it takes quite a little bit of effort to put these videos out, do the research, get it all together every single day of the market. And you guys, um, Clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those comments, even an emoji helps, um, really helps support the channel's effort and it helps the channel to be seen by other folks out there in the market. And also to those folks who share these um, videos um, out there on their social media feed. Thank you so much for that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. So um, let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful because the volatility we likely have ahead. We have so many uncertainties with the new um, Israeli war, war, what's going on, we, we've now been distracted away from um, Ukraine, which makes that situation dangerous. We have the situation of uh, the blackout period for the uh, major companies. They're not able to buy their stocks, creating that uncertainty. We've got the pending beginning of um, um, fourth quarter earnings season with the big banks coming in on Friday. And then, of course, we have just the inflation data coming our way. And that's just a few of the things that the market is struggling with. So remember, we could see big whipsaws. We could see overnight reversals. So plan your risk carefully no matter what you do. Make sure you're following your risk tolerances. Never ever blindly follow any trade that anyone suggests to you. Make sure it fits your risk risk um, tolerances for trading in your rules. First off, let's take a look at TBT. This is something that I think is kind of interesting. Whoops, TLT. That I think is kind of interesting here. TLT has been absolutely beat down. I'm going to go to a longer term chart. This is a tremendous beat down in uh, TLT. So let's watch this closely. We had a good move yesterday, a nice pop to the upside. Now I'm not saying we're just gonna extend, but I think we could be setting ourselves up for a pretty good short squeeze coming up here in TLT. Not gonna say when it's gonna trigger, but I would watch that carefully. If we can break this out above that downtrend and hold a little higher low, I think when 
when this starts to recover, it's going to recover quickly. There'll be a lot of folks running out of this very fast to protect their capital. So watch that carefully in here. And that would be good for the market because that would ease up on these bond yields. It would ease up on uh, the rates for mortgages. That would be very, very helpful if this starts to ease. Now, of course, with the inflation data we have coming, it may not come uh, you know, today, tomorrow, or anytime soon, but we wanna start watching this because this is such an oversold condition here in a TLT to be watching for. Could be some good opportunities. Now I have a bias in this because I am holding a position. I'm down on that position, but what I've been starting to do is build this position in a TLT for that big squeeze that could be coming here. So watch that closely. Other places that I think are looking pretty good, take a look at the US dollar. This would help an awful lot too if we get that relief in those bond yields if we saw the US dollar. Um, start to come down and if you'll notice in here we've been in this very strong uptrend we're testing that trend right in here a weakening of that um, uh, bond yields could send that US dollar back down breaking that trend that would relieve an awful lot of pressure here for the market as well so keep an eye on that now for individual stocks let's take take a look at a few that I'm watching pretty closely Intel in here's a little bit um, uh, two-sided um, to say the least we've got this upside trend and we've got this downside in here that is uh, plaguing us but one of the things I like is we're pushing up here and notice we're kind of tightening up this consolidation in here tightening up it a little bit and if we can continue to see those bulls push we might pop through that area and look for that opportunity to maybe catch that entry into here now keeping in mind it's going to report on 1026 um, we could also get that anticipation of the earnings helping to push that to the upside so watch that carefully here on Intel. Take a look at uh, WBA. WBA putting in an interesting little bottom formation in here, as you can see. Now, WBA is another one of those that have just been pounded down, uh, breaking through major levels of price support in the chart. But that may put us in an extreme oversold condition here as well. So watch that carefully. If we can hold this little inverted head and shoulders pattern in here, we might very soon find that opportunity to pop on through. This is a price alert that I'm watching. You can see we've kind of slipped out from underneath that downtrend. So if that can pop and go, I want to be um, keeping a close eye on that chart. Um, also keeping a close eye on a lot of the things going on in the energy sector. Of course, the um, situation over there in the Middle East creating a big rally in some of these stocks to the upside. EQT, notice in here, this is just a zooming move to the upside on this W formation, pushing into resistance levels in the chart. But you can certainly imagine if that pops out of there, there could be some good upside coming here in some of these oil sector stocks if they can break back through those resistance areas. Now, I will say stocks um, like Halliburton, they're still in a question. Um, this is the refiners in here, still in a question because of that downtrend. But if we can push that through here and hold, then you can see what I just drew there is that inverted head and shoulders pattern that could drive these energy prices back up. Now, keeping in mind that's inflationary, but watch those carefully. They're trying in here to get something going uh, to the upside. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at the financial sector, now I am not a big believer that the finance or the big banks are going to do great this quarter because they haven't been doing a lot of lending. But that said, we are we are staying bullish here in this chart, trying to push back up. Now, if we can defeat this downtrend and hold this higher low in here, then I'm gonna change my mind on this and we might become bullish in here for a short period of time. So let's watch that closely. We do also wanna keep in mind that in here, we're still well below our 250 day moving average. Our 34 EMA has already crossed down through the 200 and here in the next few days, 
we're likely to see um, the 50 crossing down through the 200 in XLF, creating a significant resistance area in the chart. But those big bank reports coming up on Friday could change things here pretty quickly. So kind of keep that one in mind. You might want to take a look at some of the things in retail. That Amazon. Um, Amazon trying to push back up here just a little bit obviously we're um, clearly underneath this price resistance but with the sale today and tomorrow going on here in Amazon there may be that opportunity that this can find enough energy to push back up through here keep an eye on that you might also want to keep an eye on stocks like GPS now GPS has got an interesting little head and shoulders pattern forming up in here but with the rebound that we're seeing in the market we also have this little upside trend whoops there we go this little upside trend coming into play so um, there, let me redraw this really quick so it's not quite so messy we've got this wedging pattern in here that we want to be keeping an eye on that means we got about a 50 percent shot that this could pop through the upside and with the bullishness that we have here recently we might push this on up and continue to move to the upside if those retailers or if the consumer is as strong as the market wants to believe they are um, despite the credit card debt so keep an eye on some of those so I'm running this video a little bit long um, I want to thank everyone for being here today I truly appreciate the kind support to the channel and I want to wish you all the very very best today see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning